the saying goes, it is Venus who reveals applied astrology to the world. It has truth at its core and the era of this proverb alludes to the original nature of Venus. It is not the fact that Venus himself has come and propagated astrology among people, but for those who preached in the world of applied astrology, Venus must have been dominant at birth chart. Why only applied astrology? In any applied science or art, Venus has a role. Jupiter discovers scientific principles and Venus exploits them. As in Jupiter's kingdom, every wrong things are manifested as principles. In the realm of Venus, the subtle theories are also expressed in gross physical matter. Venus possesses nothing subtle, abstract. All are perceptible, all are concrete. I have already discussed Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury and Jupiter in astrological educational videos. My discussion today is about the planet Venus. Today's discussion is about the nature of Venus. What it indicates, what kind of influence it has on our life, etc. Which is called Karakata in astrology. Based on what I know about the characteristics of the planets and based on the writing of various famous astrologers, I am presenting to you in detail. If you can memorize all the lectures of these videos, then you will be able to gain complete knowledge about planetary actions or signification. So watch the complete video with attention without skipping the video. Namaskar, I am Krishnendu Chakravarti. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, then subscribe to the channel and listen to the discussion on astrology, spirituality and different types of themes, moments, that means Mohurto, Ujjal, etc. The materialistic demons accepted Venus as their teacher or master because the achievements of Venus in the material world are immense. Venus is the sorcerer of the material world. He possesses all the hidden mysteries of the material world. He can do whatever he wants with material things. Every substance can be changed into any form in any state by connection, disconnection. To make air hard as rock or to turn iron into steam is crippling matter to him. The full culmination of achievements of Venus is Toga Vibhuti, expressed and unexpressed, overt or hidden, whatever natural laws there are, if they are to be put to use, they cannot work without the help of Venus. Jupiter discovers rules, Venus invents hundreds of new products with the help of those rules. Jupiter's incarnation, Mendel, discovered the rules of sexual intercourse in planets. Incarnation of Venus, Burbank created thousands of new hybrid trees with its help. Venus is at the root of everything that has been invented. Mars is the center of energy. Venus associates energy with inert. Saturn is the signifier of the inert. It is only inert. It is closed in time and space. The inert of Venus is ever changing. Although not perceived from outside, it is constantly changing within the inert. It is inert on the outside, the endless play of life on the inside. Saturn's inert is inanimate. Venus inert is energetic. In Saturn's kingdom, iron is just 
iron. In the kingdom of Venus, it is magnet. It has attractive power. It is the work of Venus to arrange the inanimate matter and to transmit energy in it. Hence, Venus's causality has been recognized in all arts and crafts. Venus is the master of all living things. Therefore, the attraction of man and woman towards each other is given by Venus for the purpose of creating life. This attraction is only a physical impulse and as this attraction is the cause of the creation of a new body, it is also the cause of the loss of vitality of the old two bodies. That is why there is a pleasant frenzy in the attraction. Otherwise, no one would have been willing to deplete his vitality to create an enemy. Venus unites men and women to create life. And when he is done, separates them. If this union is to be cemented by social norms or by marriage, Titan's favorable association is desired. In Venus, there is an expression of both attraction and repulsion. It sometimes draws near and sometimes repels. But the absolute interior in certain trains to give every substance a fixed immutable form. Therefore, even if Venus is the cause of sexual intercourse, if Saturn does not favor it, it cannot give devotion. Many people call Venus as the agent of love, romance, etc. But actually, Moon is the center of emotional feelings like love, romance, affection, etc. Venus develops in the inert that which attracts people to the inert which people commonly call beauty. Venus is the expression of beauty. Everything beautiful, everything attractive is the cause of Venus. Therefore, all kinds of arts are within the control of Venus. This is why Mahatma Gemini called Venus the poet and the novelist. Many people call Venus social eloquent. Its real meaning is Venus is experienced to act after understanding the status. No other planet can understand that like Venus, which will be most fruitful. That's why he is adored everyone in the society, meeting, parliament, workplace. No one can deny his eloquence, be it be eloquence and efficiency. The real function of Venus is creation and its motto is wisdom. Jupiter is wise, Venus is water. Lord Krishna said in Gita, Yoga, Karmasu, Kausalam. In other words, efficiency in work is Yoga. Venus is the active worker. Marx works. There is no rule, no discipline in that work. His motto is just what? Even there is need or have no more need. But all the works of Venus are done well with efficiency. Although the main center of energy is Mars, Venus alone has the skill needed to do the work properly. Venus is the true efficient worker. And hence, like Jupiter, the knowledgeable, Venus is also called the master or teacher. Those who place knowledge above all things are born under the rulership of Jupiter. And those who think that action is the best, they have strong Venus in their horoscope. The battle over knowledge and action has been going on for ages. Those who are wise have been despising the workers as materialistic 
and those who are workers have been ridiculing the wise as dreamers. For this, the wise Jupiter and the activist Venus are so much enemies of each other. This is the eternal conflict between the wise and the worker. The same allegorical conflict between bowed and demon. Their enmity is deep rooted. They cannot be reconciled easily. Suddenly one day they met in that union of wise and workers during sea churning beauty, Sri and joy urvasi arose as goddess Lakshmi and nectar from the sea. If at the birth time of any native, Jupiter is conjunct Venus positively, harmony of knowledge and action is expressed in him, and beauty, wealth and joy reside in his heart. I have mentioned in the video on medical astrology what Venus indicates in one's own body. I have given the link in the description. Please take a look. In one's mind, Venus indicates sensual emotional happiness. Sensual feelings belongs to Rahu and Moon, but emotional happiness belongs to Venus. And emotional sadness belongs to Saturn. Attraction to the beautiful, sexual attraction, hint sense, application skills in every subject, innovative power, productivity, sociability, the power to see the beauty and sweetness of everything, power to consume, etc. In the same soil, Venus indicates beauty, art, sweetness, pleasure, intercourse, eloquence, poetry, strategy, invention, music, painting, literature, luxury, youth, applied science, pictures, festivals, marriage, etc. In the external world, Venus indicates whatever is beautiful and lovely, young men, women, article of luxury, beautiful beds, clothes, ornate furniture, pictures, flowers, musical instruments, ornaments, cooked delicacies, perfumes, wives, husbands, vaisya minded Brahmins, inventors, invented instruments, wealth, music studios, painting studios, poets, painters, musicians, all kinds of crafts and artists, high class professionals like lawyers, barristers, doctors, etc., sculptors, actor, writer, service poet, novelist, uh, dramatist, etc. Picture square plays, well planned garden, flower beds, pleasure grounds, luxury rooms, etc. Only Venus knows how to apply the scriptures in practical life. Venus is said to be the prophet of all scriptures. Venus is the agent of desire and worldly happiness. Practical knowledge, pursuit, beauty, art, fine arts, worldly comforts, pride, splendor, greed, infatuation, skills, productivity, sophistication, sweetness, charm, sociability, minister, sexual attraction, lustful activity, sensual pleasure, sexual power, prostitution, vehicle, embracing others, etc. are indicated by Venus. If Venus is afflicted by a malefic, a person may have character weakness. If Venus is afflicted by Saturn, there is a possibility of delay in marriage or marriage again conventional norms. In contrast, if Venus is in the fifth house and afflicted by any sin planet, or the fifth lord conjuncts Venus and affected by same planets. The marriage is against the conventional custom. If strong Venus is in the fourth house, the native gets higher education. Moon Venus conjunction makes a native ambitious and passionate. 
Venus is the signifier of beauty. So in general, Venus is responsible for beauty of the body and beauty of the face. These are the natural characteristics of Venus. How all these characteristics of Venus are reflected in the people life? Now let's come to that. Venus natives are always aspiring to enjoy reality in a beautiful and sophisticated way by nature. They always strive to fulfill their desires and pleasures in life. They do not get upset under any circumstances. They always look forward to making life better and better. As Saturn symbolizes despair, Venus is the exact opposite. Venus natives are often characterized as light natured, but in fact they are not. Lack of seriousness can be seen as they want to enjoy the life differently. Venus natives are generally graceful in appearance and have a very beautiful body structure. Physical abilities are also abundant. They are often busy speed. Their speech and behavior are very beautiful. It is their nature to associate equally with all. They are never in favor of attack or loss. Venus natives want to enjoy youth. That is why their addiction to the opposite sex is seen. Due to excess of attraction to opposite sex, they often become condemned from the characteristics point of view. But in normal disposition, those faults in no case descend to such a low level as in Saturn or Mercury natives. Venus natives are usually interested in marriage according to their own choice. And in most cases, the marriage takes place within natural age. They are often happy in their married life. The effect of happiness continues even in difficult situations. Their financial condition is generally not very good because they are not particularly interested in work related matter. Basically, they don't have a proper aim towards financial prosperity. Most of their free time is spent in entertainment. The company he works for, everyone loves him enough to be eloquent. They never aim to hurt others in any way and in return never thought to improve their financial fortunes. As a result, even if they get everyone's love, they are usually not able to rise on the top. This is my discussion today. If you can memorize all the lectures of these videos, then you will be able to gain complete knowledge about planetary characteristics. Namaskar.